Okay, who's ready to work that booty? All you need is a mat and yourself. We are gonna be on our hands and our knees the entire time. So here we go. Here we go. We're gonna place those hands down under our shoulders. Take those knees right under our hips. Pull those abdominals in nice and strong. We're gonna take one leg straight out behind us. Now I want you to make sure that those abdominals are engaged, help support that low back. Take that back leg down, lift, and lift. We are going to be in this position the entire workout. So I want you to make sure that those arms are comfortable. The shoulders are gonna start talking to you, but this is mainly for the booty today. We wanna make sure that when we lift that back leg, that we aren't lifting it to the point where our low back arches. You really wanna make sure that the move comes from the hip, support it through your core, and the glutes do all the work. Give me four more here. One more, I lied, one more. Hold it up, hold it up. Bend your knee, flex your foot, little pulses. Now these pulses, they are small. They are controlled. It's not about how quick you move this leg. It's about how slow and engaged you can make that muscle. Now drop those shoulders away from your ears. Two more here. Hold, point that leg, hold. Engage your core, reset your body. Bend that knee, hold. Point your leg, hold. Bend it up, hold. Yes, push, hold. Bring it back up to 90, hold. Little pulses, lift, lift. What are those abdominals doing? Pull them back in. We got this. Four, three, two, we're gonna hold it. We're gonna take that knee across the outside of our back leg. Tap and pick it up. I guess it's not our back leg, but it's our leg that's supporting us. So reach with your knee, cross it, lift it back up. Squeeze those inner thighs. Lift with your glutes. Do it again. You should be getting some heat back there in that booty. Three. Give me two more. Last one. Hold it up. Hold it up. Point that leg. You're going to give me a tap. Bring it up for a rainbow. Tap up for a rainbow. Now you're going to have a little twist in those hips, but make sure that we don't twist open. We're lifting that leg across our body and setting it down. Now that stabilizing leg is starting to talk to us. It's going to talk. It's supporting. Hold it strong. Now give me two taps and lift, two taps, lift, two taps, Woo! keep it here, two taps, yes, light little touch, hold it up, hold it up, little circle, small, controlled, You're gonna take this little circle, point those toes, and switch directions. How's that bum feeling? Is it hot yet? Woo, so toasty. Hold. Now we're gonna drop that knee down, but don't put it down. No, no, it is just hovering. We're gonna lift to the side and set it back down. Lift. It is not about how high you lift your leg here. 
but I want you to feel the squeeze and the little tiny glutes. Inhale, exhale. We got this. Give me four more. And three, two, last one. Here we go, we got a combo. Side lift, press it out, push. Bring it in, side lift, press it out. Yes, you can, pull it in, side lift, press it out, bring it in, side lift, keep it going, push. Reach, extend, do it again. You got two more here. Last one, hold it out, hold, down and lift. Back to where we started. What does it feel like now? Not so easy, right? It's okay to shake. I say it all the time. Hold it up. Hold strong. Engage your core right here. Big breaths. Little pulses. Lift. Lift. Finish it out. Bring it in. Side lift. And press it out. Bring it in. Side lift, take it out, again, take it out, you ready? Side lift only, burning it out, give me four and three, two left, last one. Oh, sit it back, stretch. Go ahead and sit up, switch directions, place those hands down, tuck that belly button in, stick out that other leg. It's time to work it. Down, lift. Now remember, our core is tight here. If your wrists are starting to bother you, you can always go up to your knuckles, make a fist, let those wrists be straight for a little bit. And don't forget you're having fun, right? Always. I can just imagine your little banter back at the TV. You're like, uh, I don't know what I'm having. Good, you're looking strong. Now we're gonna hold this one up, hold. Hold it strong, drop those shoulders away from your ears. Bend your knee, flex your foot. Point those toes. Bend that knee. Point those toes. Bend that knee. Point those toes. One more here. Bend and point and bend. Hold little pulse, little lift. Now you know with this lift, it is small, it's about the squeeze. It is not about bouncing around. Getting that mind-muscle connection right here. You squeeze, let it go, just a little bit. Find that highest point, that end game for you on this side. That's the point you need to hit every time. Up and hold. Take that lid out straight. Hold. Bend that knee in. Hold. Isometric. Press it out. Hold. Take it down and up. Little lifts. There we go. Give me four more here. Three more. Two more. Hold it up, hold, bend that knee. 
Now we're going to take those pulses one more time. Little lift, lower. Little lift, lower. Yes. Exhale, inhale. Now if you start feeling this in your low back, don't lift that leg so high. We're gonna hold it here, hold. Take it across, tap it down. Take it back up. Take it across, tap it. Now if your knee does not get to the outside of your other leg, that's okay. Just take that knee and lightly tap your calf and pick it back up. Just try to get that angle. Get those inner thighs kicked on so they can help assist. Give me two more here. And one more. Hold. Take that top leg, point it straight. Lengthen, squeeze those quads, lift with your glutes. Little, circle, small, control the sway. We don't want to be rocking back and forth. Now circle the other way. That stabilizing hip. Oh, it's shaking. Adjust those arms as needed, but keep those shoulders away from those ears. They have no reason to be there. Give me four, three, two, hold. Now we're gonna bring that knee in. Remember, let it hover. Side, lift, down. It's not about how high you go, but I want you to use those obliques right here too. They're assisting those glutes. The glutes are the primary. Give me four more. And three, two, one. Now combo, we're gonna lift and press it out. Again, pull in, side, press it out. Make sure that leg comes all the way back to full extension here. That those shoulders are supporting you. Push. Keep it going. I want you to do these slow. So if you feel like you're throwing the leg up out to the side or the back, maybe slow the move down or maybe don't lift so high to the side. You're gonna give me one more here and then you're gonna hold that leg out. Hold it strong. Lift your chest, reset, reset. Bend that knee, press it out. Here we go, knee in to the side. Press it out. You have three more here. That's it. Press it out. Take it to the side. Press it out and hold it. Hold, lift your chest. Strong on that stabilizing leg. Take it down and up. Remember, work through this at your own pace, right here. Slow and controlled. Now take it to your rainbow. Cross, lift and out. And cross, lift out. And cross. All right, rainbow, two taps. Two taps, lift, two taps. Now the taps come from the hip, not the knee. So that leg is straight. That glute does the tapping. It's small, controlled. I know I sound like a broken record, but so often, myself included, it's easy to use momentum to throw your leg around. Singles, give me four and three and two, last one. 
you're gonna hold it up. Down and up, here we go, finish it. Down, lift. You're almost there. Be strong, you have less than a minute. Up and hold, isometric, finish it up. 30 seconds, all you. Embrace the shake. It feels good to just burn it out, to hold it. Four, three, two, and sit it back. Come on up and join me in a sitting position. We're gonna take one leg out front, take the other across, reach into that leg, turn your chest towards that leg that you pulled across, and look towards the back of the room, pulling that knee to your chest, relaxing your hip. Oh, you deserve this stretch. Spine long, relax those faces. Brow is soft. Now we're gonna take this leg and we're gonna slowly release it and let it come to a figure four on our other leg. Maybe putting a little pressure on that knee, continuing to relax that hip. Great job today. Go ahead and switch those legs. Take that other leg across, turn into your leg, reach to the back. Spine is long, chin is lifted. Now nice and easy, bring it back to center, letting that top leg come down. Opening the hip here, maybe putting a little pressure again. Spine is long, close those eyes. Think about all the hard work you just did. Be proud of that. Now we're gonna take that top leg off, bring both of those legs in center, reach those hands to the floor and walk them out. Letting your head drop, letting those hips relax. Now while you're here, try to flatten out your back here. Pressing your tailbone to the back of the room. Inhale, come on up. And we're gonna switch that cross. Letting those hips relax, walk those hands out. Spine is long, tension in those hips is gone. Big breath in, and on that exhale, you're gonna roll yourself up. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a wonderful quick booty workout. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.